people and welcome to the People Building Video Podcast. You know, I'm starting to think that for the video podcast I need one of those um, boards like they use in the movies, you know the black and white ones where it comes down and they say take four, because this is in fact the fourth take, uh, so far I've fallen off the chair, the telephones rang amongst other things, but anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Incidentally, I'm at the office today and you haven't been here before. Let me give you a quick guided tour around the office. So over here we have my workstation, my desk, which is messy as usual. And moving swiftly on, we've got the bookshelf here. So on here there is all my reference materials, my manuals and my books. There's a book up here that you might know. There we go. Have you seen that one before? That's a good book. You should buy that if you don't already have it. Over here I have the client's chair, which looks lovely and comfortable. That one's just reclining nicely for when people come in and relax. And then over on this side I've got my chair. That's the one that I sit in when I'm doing my therapy. And up on the walls we've got some nice scenic pictures and the usual certificates up there. Oh, did you see this? I made that. Right, anyway... Let's get on with what we're actually supposed to be doing today. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is persistence. Now, I consider myself to be someone with quite a lot of persistence. And that can be very useful in things like business and in achieving goals. It can be very useful to have a huge degree of pers persistence. Part of the reason why I know I've got so much of it, and it's funny because I only really thought of this when I was looking up what the meaning of the word persistence was in this sort of dictionary definition. Um, when I was very ill with appendicitis and I'd gone into hospital and I'd had the appendix taken out and I was in the recovery room, which is the bit after your operation where they pop you in there just to keep an eye on you and to make sure that you come round out of the anaesthetic properly. Now usually people don't remember that part uh, because they're so drowsy after having all the anaesthetics that they don't really remember much about um, what happens in there. However, I was very keen to get better and to get sorted and to get back to work and get on with my life. And I remember the bit in the recovery bay. In fact, what happened was I came round and I had this big tube that was stuffed down my throat, which they'd used in the operation to keep me breathing. And it was still in there. The nurse hadn't got round to come and taken it out yet. And I also had this big mask on my face that was pumping some oxygen in. And I was generally in a bit of a sorry state. So I was laid out on this bed and I suddenly opened my eyes and realised where I was and realised what had happened. And I pulled this mask off of my face and I took the tube out of my throat. And I gradually sat myself up, because you can imagine I was in quite a bit of discomfort. And the nurse turned around and went, no, no, lay back down, lay back down. And I said, where is he? And she said, what, what? And I said, where is he? Where is the man that did the operation? And she called the surgeon over and he said, are you okay? And I said, did you do a good job? And he went, yeah. And I went, okay. And then I kind of flaked out and went back to sleep again. So I know that this is just something that's in me, that I just have a very persistent attitude. And that even when I was in this very drugged up state, there was no way that I was going to rest properly until I knew that a good job had been done of fixing up my body. So I've looked up persistence on the dictionary to see what the online dictionary definition is and I need to refer to my piece of paper. It said the continuance of an effect after its cause is removed. And what this got me wondering is in life when we're very persistent about moving towards our goals would we be as persistent if the end result, the end product, the achievement of that goal had itself been removed? And I think if the answer is yes, then that's what tells you that you have a very high degree of persistence. So if the, um, if the cause of what you are persisting for is removed, would you still have the effect of being persistent? And if the answer is yes, then that shows that you're a highly motivated person and that also you're probably more deserving of achieving that goal in the long run. If you would take the action that you're taking, whether it was achievable or not, but just for the ride, just to have the journey, then you're definitely in good stead for achieving what it is that you want at the end. If, however, you're only achieving it for the end result, then it's likely that you're going to have a less comfortable journey because it's all about getting the end result. And if all you're focusing on is the end result, then you're not going to be spending as much time enjoying the moment of now. 
So that's our little chat for today. As usual, there is your freebies at the bottom of the page. Now, in line with the survey that we conducted recently, lots of you said that you were interested in getting your hands on more hypnosis inductions. So I've included two hypnotic inductions at the bottom of the page today. However, because they're inductions, there's no audio product, because these are just to be able to get somebody into a trance state. The real work comes afterwards. So there are two scripts there for you for you to enjoy and remember they're only available for 72 hours only after that time they will be on the people building website on the scripts and audios page for you to download but then you'll have to pay for them they're only free for the next 72 hours so make sure you do get your hands on them and i'll speak to you again in a couple of weeks time bye for now